Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's called Tech Lorian. For this video, we will be talking about SAP electronic bank statements and I will be discussing the basic process and I will give you an overview of how it works in SAP. So what is an electronic bank statement? Think of electronic bank statements as documents that are sent by the bank and they contain bank transaction details. The key phrase for this one would be document and bank transaction details. Okay, so what are the sample details? There is of course the amount, the, the bank, account possibly and even some sort of swift code or iban whichever is needed so how does it relate to sap so in terms of uh, corporate companies or those with with sap as their main financial software they need to of course ensure that they keep track of all incoming and outgoing payments this is the same for sales if you make a sale you want to be able to track it there if you do some purchasing if you acquire some some products in order to make your full product then you also need to keep track of all the transactions that follow thereafter so the main point is since you want to keep track of incoming and outgoing payments you need to be able to upload the electronic bank statement to sap that way when you do your financial closing or if, if you start to create your financial statements then that's the time that you know you don't need to go to several other systems to pull the data and ensure that everything is okay and we need to make sure that it's accurate next up we're going to talk about the basic process so there will be three steps for this one number one is to receive the electronic bank statement from the bank this one is not an sap yet so you can expect that there's an interface that is existing that brings over the files from the bank to a secured server or repository uh, it's not necessarily that it is directly sent to the actual sap system it's possible depending on the system architecture that was designed or how it's going to flow it's possible that the bank sends the files to a secured server or repository where sap in turn get these files in the secured server or repository and you know brings it over to sap number two is this is the time that we upload the electronic bank statement to sap because we received it and then lastly three this is the time that we view the ebs in sap and do some post processing when i mean by post processing it's possible that you will do some clearing or even review of the details that were uploaded one receive the electronic bank statement number two upload the ebs to sap assuming that everything is correct in terms of format we can view the electronic bank statement and then do some post processing what are the t codes for this one so for the first one it's not an sap we don't have a t code for that one for the uploading to SAP this is ff.5 and then for the viewing we have FEBA this is the older version and FEBAN for the newer version 
personally, my take is that Feban is much more visual or user-friendly compared to this one. So it really depends. You can use either one of these transaction codes. It would be fine. But for me, I prefer Feban. Okay, so this time around, I'm going to talk to you about some additional notes to consider. Number one is the format. So this one varies per country and for example, in terms of Belgium, they use CODA files. It's in .cod format. This means that they don't upload the EBS to SAP using ff.5. So for their case, they would use another transaction code and that is FEBC to do the upload. This one will not do the direct upload because it's going to convert the CODA file to multicache format. Why do we have to do this? It's so that SAP can consume, quote unquote, and interpret the, the details correctly. So once they do the FEBC, that's the time that they go to Feban. But more or less, the process remains the same. You receive, you upload only through FEBC. And then you go to Feban. This is more or less the, the process. The second thing that I want to discuss is it's possible that if you upload electronic bank statements to SAP, there are cases wherein there are inconsistencies with the data or SAP interprets it wrong. So if there are cases like this, you can always go to FF. 67 to do some manual processing of the bank statements this is only if you know something is wrong with how the data turned out to be in sap after doing your post processing this usually generates an accounting document if you want more details on this, I do have a detailed blog post. It's in techlorian.com. You can just scroll down and go to the categories and look for SAP FI Bank Accounting. When you open it, I do have the blog post here. I'll link it in the description box below. Uh, it has the, the basic process overview, the screenshots, and of course, the, the formats that I was talking about earlier. There's also a comparison table. These formats are the most commonly used. So if you have other uh, formats that you need to understand, there are also links here where you can refer to so that's it i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have some questions feel free to comment down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one